Hello and welcome to this quick demonstration of our new online batch billing feature in the Clinicaid.ca medical billing program. My name is Jordan Visco and uh, you can see here I'm in my test account and I'm on my dashboard and you can see down on the bottom left here that I have no unsubmitted invoices uh, in my account. And it's a good idea when you're starting to play around with batch billing that you just clear out any unsubmitted invoices that you have just so you can kind of confirm that uh, the number of invoices that you're hoping to have created are actually uh, what actually gets created. So in order to start creating them we're going to head to the create invoice section and uh, instead of filling out this line item we're going to go to the next tab under which is batch billing and I should say before I go there that uh, you can see my invoice type is Alberta. I'm in an Alberta account right now so uh, the codes that you're going to be seeing are Alberta codes and Alberta modifiers and uh, it should work very very similarly in both uh, British Columbia and Ontario uh, but um, just for the purposes of this demo I'm going to be doing an Alberta account. So we're going to head down to batch billing <coughs> and you can see under batch billing I have one batch uh, called test group here and um, I could play around with that one, but first I'm just going to show you how to create a new one. So I'm just going to go new batch, and I'm going to click create. So you can see new batch shows up here up top, and uh, I can go ahead and start editing it by clicking the little blue edit button. So the first thing I want to do in my batch here is add a billing record. So create new billing record, and I'm going to enter a patient's name, and uh, the patient I'm going to use is Donald Duck. There he is, and uh, you can see my provider information automatically shows up, and that's because I have a default provider set in my Clinicaid account. Then I can add a service. I'm going to add a 0303A, um, which is just a regular appointment in, in Alberta, and uh, then I'm going to add a diagnostic, uh, maybe just 784, and I'm going to leave the modifiers blank. Uh, you can also see these are lookup tables too, so you know when I type in 784, um, all the codes that include that show up but uh, if you know it you can just type it in as well. And then I can enter a claim note if I'd like to send a, a claim note with this um, bill whenever I send it with a batch uh, or you can just leave it blank and you can fill out the claim notes uh, at, at the time that you're actually going to be sending them which I'll show you in a minute. So I'll click add and you can see now I have one line on, uh, on this batch and if I want to add another line I just click create new billing record and I go through and fill it out again. Um, in that way you can add as many line items as you'd like for as many patient providers uh, as you want in a batch and uh, you can also add uh, an unlimited number of line items for a patient as well. So now that that's done I'm going to click back and we're going to play around with this other batch here called test group um, which already has a bunch of invoices set up in it. So I'm going to click the green or sorry the blue um, edit button there as well and you can see that I have six different line items, uh, a bunch of different services, a bunch of different diagnostic codes, some don't have them and uh, a couple of the um, line items here have modifiers as well. If I want to edit any of those I can click the blue edit arrow or to delete them I can just click the little red trash can. So I'm pretty happy with my group right now, so I'm going to click back and then I'm going to go and I'm going to do billing for that batch. So test group here, I'm going to click the green bill button. And um, you can see a similar screen uh, shows up here, but it has editable fields on it. So um, if I want, I can go and I can edit any of the services, any edit any of the diagnostics or dates uh, just by you know putting my cursor in any of these boxes and typing in a different value. Um, I can change the date just by putting my cursor in there and selecting a different date. I can uh, also set a note for any one of these light items by clicking this little note icon, just typing in like test, and then when I hover over the little note icon <coughs> it shows me that uh, I have a note there called test as well. So that's great but sometimes you want to make mass changes to these um, light items and so in that case you can see on the left hand side here um, I have them uh, all selected. So if I want to make changes to all of them, I can just leave that all selected and I can go set dates and we can change the dates for all of them to yesterday and click set. Now these bills will all be created with the dates of yesterday and you can see that's reflected here in these boxes. Also if I wanted to set the notes for all of these, I just again leave them checked and I click set notes and I can just go and, and set a note for every, uh, every line item there. 
So now um, I'm happy with my group and I'm going to do some billing here for yesterday and uh, I want to send off this first line item. I can click the little green arrow to the right of it and you can see that the little pending icon shows here. It goes around and around and then when it's done it changes to a green check mark and the text changes to green. And uh, the edit button on the right hand side there isn't there anymore. I can no longer set the notes. I can no longer send it. All I can do is click this little eye icon here to view that invoice. And, uh, and there you go, there's the invoice information that has been created for this bill. So now for the rest of these, I want to create them as well, but uh, I don't want to have to go ahead and click the little green arrow over and over and over again. So instead of that, I'm just going to click Create Selected and all the ones that are selected are going to get created. So you'll watch here, it'll start at the top and then they'll, they'll all get created uh, down the list. And go. So the first one's being created, done, second one, created, done, third one, fourth one, and fifth one. So if you add that to that first one that I did, I should have six invoices now uh, when I go to my Manage Invoices section. So let's head over there and just check on that. There you go, one, two, three, four, five, six. Total number of invoices is six, so I know that they were all created. And then I can go ahead and just send them off by selecting them all and choosing Send. Now I'm not going to send these right now, I'm just going to delete them, but uh, you would obviously send them in your own account. So now I'm going to go back to that uh, batch billing section and we're going to show you what happens when something fails. So we're going to go to the test group here and I'm going to click the uh, bill button again. And this last bill here is a 03038, which is a regular appointment in Alberta, and it does require a diagnostic code, but I'm just going to remove it in this case. And that should cause this one bill to fail when I try and send it. So I'm going to click the little green arrow just to send this one. And you can see instead of turning green, it turns red, and uh, it gives you an error information down at the bottom here telling me that uh, I must have a diagnostic code. And uh, I have a few options. So I can just edit the information on this line here, so I can just add a diagnostic and click send again, and it'll try again, and it should send properly the next time. Or you can click the little blue edit arrow, uh, sorry, little blue uh, edit pencil icon, and it'll actually pop open the edit invoice screen. And I can go ahead and add a diagnostic code in here. Um, this is just the regular create invoice screen, so you can use all your favorite sets. And under Diagnostic Care, I'm just going to put 784, click Add, and I'm going to click Save. And I get my success message that the invoice was created. I can now close the screen. And when I go back to the batch billing screen, you can see now that this invoice has been created. There's a green check mark. I can no longer edit it. Um, so the screen knows that uh, that particular invoice was created. And I can go ahead now and I can send the rest of them if I'd like. So that's a quick demonstration of our new batch billing features. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to shoot us an email at support at clinicaid.ca. And uh, happy billing.